How's it going, everyone? Happy, uh, what day is it? Thursday. Uh, I, I, there's been, it's been a slow news week. I don't think anything's been, you know, talked about at all. You guys might want to go check out the channel if you haven't already. Uh, yesterday's video was just a little bit important. Um, just a little bit. Honestly, if you don't even want to watch it, it's fine. You, you don't have to. No, but the good news is, guys, uh, with the news yesterday of NASCAR 21, I don't feel like I need to be in a rush anymore. I felt like I had to rush this series, uh, to complete it in time but now that nascar 21 is not coming out till october 28th which is two and a half months from now uh that is nice uh for me at least because i get to take my time with the nascar thunder 2003 series and i think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy that as well shout out to all the patreon supporters for always supporting the channel you guys are the absolute best i feel like i should just trademark that phrase because that's why i say every single time but it's true and yes, I've been reading the comments, guys. Don't worry. Breaking point. F1 breaking point. Where's breaking point? I will be streaming it. Just hold on, okay? Uh, when I have some free time on, on an evening, I will go on Twitch and I'll stream some breaking point. Uh, and that's where that will be. So don't worry about it. Now, what do we have to worry about? We have to worry about the Brickyard 400. Uh, let's quickly check the standings just to uh, see where uh, the points leaders are, I would assume. That Dale Jarrett is still at the top, and he is by 37 points over Dale and her junior. Uh, let's go to team management. Let's go to. I actually want. Yeah, I want to look at the sponsors real quick. Uh, there, everything's fine. Seven races left there. R and D. We got three races left there, so 50% completed. And in the garage, we have a pretty decent car. Um, there's still one getting repaired. I can build one, but I don't really want to. And for the engines, I can't do anything. So I think I'm just going to stay packed. What are we going to take to the Brickyard 400? We are going to take... Yep, we're going to keep... Um, we're going to keep engine number one. And the chassis, we're going to probably switch it to number two. Uh, well, number three is pretty decent still. Uh, that's, that, I mean, they're pretty much identical. Drafting's a little bit worse. Downforce, one better. We'll go with number two. We'll put number two in the car. Accept changes, and that is going to be what we take to the Brickyard 400. Very important race, but as I like to say, it's a flat racetrack, and my worries about the flat racetracks are uh, pretty high. <laughs> so I'm a little bit terrified, but let's see what we can do. Let's, let's put a special paint scheme on for, for uh, the Brickyard 400. All right, there we go. That's our paint scheme, and let's head off to the Brickyard. This is a monumental race, guys. This is the year 2003, okay? This is, this is a monumental uh, race. This is on the the, route, the Mount Rushmore of NASCAR uh, races here. So you got to be able to try to win this thing. Are we going to win it? Absolutely not. Am I going to try to do pretty well? Yes, but to do that, I have to spend some time in practice. So I will see you guys in a little bit because I got to get this setup down and figure out a way to get these flat racetracks going. It's... It's really all about the entry. If I can get the entry going, then we should be fine. We go down one on the preset. If I need to go down more, I will. Uh, tire pressure will probably start at 22 for now, just to see where that's going to end up. And I'm going to leave. The, I'm going to leave everything the same for now. Front springs are already pretty low, with the wedge already on the default setup turned down uh, half a round. I'm going to see what this is like, and I'll uh, I'll change as I need to go. I'll be back momentarily. All right, guys, first lap was all about a feeling out process because we're going to carry so much more speed down into turn one that the second lap is going to be the real one. So I kind of took it pretty easy in lap one. 21st is perfect. Now we enter our real lap. So lap two, that is a... I had to let off the throttle just a little bit coming out of the corner. So it wasn't ideal, but it was good. That's a pretty good turn two. I mean, I don't care what anyone says. I still love driving this track. I know I know the races are boring um, in real life, but I love driving it. Perfect turn three. And now we go into turn four. And I screwed that up a little bit by going too low. But, I mean, it wasn't terrible. Okay, 52 flat was lap one. Lap two, 51.5. I would say 15th. 14th. Okay. I'll take that. That's good, guys, right? I'll take it. 
Welcome to MRN's live coverage from the famed Indianapolis Motor Speedway for today's Brickyard 400. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing from the Brickyard. It doesn't get much better than this, Barney. Indianapolis Motor Speedway. What a deep history this place has. I still get chills walking into this place. Speaking of history, there will be a lot of drivers fighting to get into victory lane for a chance to kiss the bricks after this one is all over today. Michael Waltrip joined DEI at the start of the 2001 season and got a win in his very first race for his new team. He followed that up with some very impressive runs at the restrictor plate tracks. He's always had a knack for drafting and with top-notch equipment, you'll be sure to see him up near the front. The Nikon car is having some trouble in the points this oh year. Oh, my well, God. Well, going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see Stop their talking. name there. Do you Sometimes guys realize my qualifying streak I'm shining. on right now? And Terry just, has been called the you just Iceman don't care? Cool under when pressure. are we going to fix but this relationship, MRN? Iron Man when are, is more Stop talking you know, about Terry Labonte. When are we going to fix this relationship? Huh? Because you're going to be in NASCAR 21. This relationship has to be fixed. All right. Because this is unacceptable. I'm, I am becoming very annoyed at the moment. That I am getting no respect, even at this hollow ground of the beautiful brickyard. I get no respect with my qualifying efforts, taking a back marker team and qualifying in the top 20 week in and week out. But that is not mentioned at all. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It just does not make any sense. I am upset about it. And I will, I, I'm like I said before, my voice will be heard. I am not surprised, literally, at all, that Jeff Gordon is, is on the pole uh, for the Brickyard. Green flag is out. Let's see what we can do. Let me get my damn headset on. Uh, Jimmy Spencer, you're going away. And uh, let's uh, have a decent race, all right, everyone? Let's see. A, a decent race. Finish in the top 25. I know, I know the goal is top 30, but I would want a top 25 finish at the Brickyard. Um, get into a rhythm. Oh, what's going on here? Oh boy, that was, that was a little bit close. No damage on the car. All right, Robbie, I'm gonna need you to check up. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Jesus, Elliot Sadler. What a dive bomb. I, I, I had to be very careful there or else I was gonna get wrecked. Uh, these guys are just very aggressive entering the corners out of many of these tracks. So you gotta be very careful with that. All right, I need some help here. So Kurt Busch, be my help. Ah, that didn't really work out. Damn it. I want, I want him to check up the inside lane. All right, we're still 16th. It's all right. Let's see how the car handles as the tires start to wear. I mean, it handles perfectly on fresh tires. I can I can average 160 through one and probably like 157 through two. Uh, 155. But, yeah, it's it's as long as I hit my marks entering the corner, I think we're going to be pretty good today. Hello, Casey Kane. Hello, Jimmy Spencer. Please don't take me three wide. Thank you very much. Let me just enter the corner properly. I appreciate everyone. Car, still three laps. And remember, this is a short race, so I, I just need the tires to last a little bit longer. Let's say if, if, if they can go to lap five without absolutely dying, then I think we will be in pretty good shape. And so far, three laps in, it's handling really well. We have Casey Atwood up there. Look at my beautiful in-car camera here with my uh, Pontiac Racing uh, Pontiac here. I almost said Pontiac Racing Ford or Chevy or something. Um, Jimmy Spencer's gonna dive bomb me. Being very careful with that. Yeah, that's not much I can do there. Again, he's just faster. It is what it is. We move. We let him go. We're gonna catch Casey Atwood here. Probably pass him. So that's gonna be good news. Make sure I don't see the thing about this track that I probably I, I'm making sure we don't fall into the trap. Remember Texas? How I hit the wall like with the rear of the, my car and then went dying. Uh, if you overdrive the exit, that's gonna happen here too. So gotta be very careful with that. And the tires are starting to go a little bit. Just a little bit, but it's still manageable. Not not really a big slide. If we get around Casey Atwood, back into the top 15. Kurt Busch is going to have to help me out again if he gets to me. Now I got the draft from Jimmy Spencer. We're good. All right, let's keep going. No, here comes Kurt. Hey, I couldn't, I couldn't enter the corner. See, yep. Car, all right, tires are starting to fall off now. Ooh, boy. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. Got to be very careful. When, if, I, if I'm going to get into the wall, i got to hit the brakes like ASAP because I, I can't I can't hit with the rear first, so it's going to catapult me. All right, so lap four is when it started going off a little bit. We have to probably get uh, a little bit later in the run for me to feel comfortable. I, I don't necessarily want a short pit here. I'm going to let Mark Martin go. He's just a lot faster, so let him go and enter the corner properly. Uh, I, I feel like over the last few races, guys, don't you think I've gotten into like a more calm, patient manner? Like I, I'm, I, I'm not overdriving the car anymore. I kind of expect what's going to happen, and I think, uh, I think I've been doing really well. We've had six, six races within the top 30. 
for a finishing result. I feel like I've been doing pretty well. I don't feel like I'm going to jinx myself either. I think, you know, I got this. I got this under control, guys. Don't worry about me. All right, so now I'm going like 150 in the corners. So, yeah, I've, I've lost basically 10 miles per hour in the middle. Oh, I almost did it. <laughs> oh, God. I almost did it. That I didn't really feel like I was going to get tight off the corner, but I did. All right, so, yeah, i got to be really careful now. These la these next three laps are, is where I get into the trouble zone, and, and the car can definitely get me. I need Tony to give me some space. Uh, I wanted him to get loose and, you know, move up the track, but that didn't work. All right, Tony, don't dive bomb me. Ooh, Rusty Wallace got into the back of Bill Elliott and just, okay, that's that's impressive. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you stay back here, Tony. You stay back here. And now I'm going to start again in a little bit of a defensive mode here. Getting Rusty back there helped a good amount. All right, Tony, you go, my friend. Go go low. Go low. Go, come on, Tony. You can do it. I won't, I won't hit you, I promise. Go low. There you go, buddy. There you go. I, yeah, conchuta. La puta. Get out of here. No, never mind. I can't even hold my car. Oh, my God. 138. Oh, God. <sighs> and it's... Oh, Jesus! Bill! Good God. All right. I know you're on the cover of the Champions Edition, but you can't just ramrod me in my, my butthole, all right? That's not very nice. Rusty, you suck. So just stay back there, please. Thank you very much. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, Wimmer, you're staying back there. Okay. Lap 7 of 16. And, and Lewis, I think the... Uh, I think the tires are going off your car there, Lewis. I think it's a good time to, uh, to, uh, books, 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 Lewis. Books, books, books. Yep, I agree. It is definitely a good time to books, books, books. We are coming down this time by books, 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 books. Where's the line? I have no idea where the goddamn line is. I gotta be very careful here. Where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line? 70 miles per hour. There we go. Okay. I think, uh, we did really well. Ran within the top 20 that run. Pit crew, this is the Brickyard 400. I'm going to need you guys to uh, give me a nice 17-second pit stop. Thank you. I don't want to take two and a half seconds for you to start hitting them lug nuts on those sides. You la puta, tu. No puede ser. Puta. Back to 30th we go. <laughs> 17, 18, 19. Bleh. Makes me want to throw up. Okay. Uh, we have to get back up. Wait, I have to be really careful doing this. Yeah, I, I don't want to get hit from behind and get DNF'd, so I'm going to just wait till we get out of turn one, and now I'll come up onto the track. All right. Well, for the 19-second stop, I don't really know where we're going to be, but uh, I'm, I'm assuming if we were running around 18th to 19th before, I would assume we're probably going to be around 30th after. So, it is what it is. So much pain. So much misery. I just try my best, only for my pit crew to mess up. Uh, to be fair, they've been pretty decent. I'm not, I can't get mad at the pit crew. Michael Waltrip, we easily get around him. I'm not sure if he's on the lead lap. I, I don't know. I guess I guess he hasn't pitted yet. Oh, boy. My car is a little bit loosey-goosey. Using the rear tires a little bit. All right, a lot of cars are in pit road this time, so... Let's see where we, we were running around Rusty Wallace, Bill Elliott, um, Tony Stewart. That's where we were. So if we see any of those guys, Scott Wimmer was another one there. Scott Wimmer. I see him right there. So that's good news. Uh, he's going to come up onto the track. Oh, boy. I'm a, I'm a lot looser than I thought I would be on this second run. I guess, I guess on the pit stop, if you keep it at half. Do you guys know this? Can you answer this in the comments below for me? If you start the race like half a wedge or, you know, a full round of wedge down and then on the pit stop, you keep it there. Does it go down another half round or another full round? Or do I have to like on the pit stop, put it to zero so it doesn't make any adjustments? Can, can you guys let me know about that? Because I, I don't know. This car just feels a little bit different uh, on the second run compared to the first run. It feels a lot looser. I don't know if that half a round made a difference or not. Sorry, Johnny Benson. See you later. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. Nice and easy into the corner. Yeah, it's already like three laps in, and I'm I'm very loose. I have no stability entering the corner, which is scary. And uh, wait, why am I saying sorry to Johnny Benson? You were the one that like wrecked me the other time. No, 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 I'm not sorry. Hold on, wait a minute. You should go low. I'm gonna hit you even harder. <laughs> I might turn you into the wall, actually. No, this is not time for payback. I need to get a good result. Uh, where are we going to be? Where are we going to be? 29th, 28th. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it looks like we're gonna come out around that 30th place area. Right now we're 28th. Uh, my pit crew, my pit crew screwed me again. Oh my God, tires already worn, seriously? Get down there. Uh, mm. Yeah, that definitely worked for Johnny Benson. Uh, not ideal, How my front tires are worn before my rear tires and I've been sliding this whole run. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Greg Biffle, do not dive bomb me. Thank you very much. Ken Trader goes around the outside. I don't think we're gonna be able to defend 
very much. Uh, oh my god, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish in the top 30 to be. Oh, Biffle, where are you going? Where are you going, Biffmeister? Oh, you're safe. You're safe. All right, there are a few more cars on pit road. Maybe we will gain a few more positions. 29th. Uh, is there any? There's one. Oh, that's a blown engine. Hey, I, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I think we're staying 29th. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh my god, I can't drive this car. I cannot drive this car whatsoever. Uh, I'm I'm, hold, I'm hanging on for dear life, everyone. Oh oh boy, oh boy. All right, hold on. Oh wait, that's Bobby Hamilton behind us. We have to beat Bobby Hamilton. He's right behind Greg Biffle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I might have to take matters in my own hands here and end this race a little bit early, because I don't know how I'm gonna be able to hang on. This is this is scary. Oh boy. That's uh, that's like eighty thousand dollars right there behind us. If we finish in front of that car, that's eighty thousand bucks. Oh, and here he is on the outside, and there's just nothing I can do. And uh, all right, I'm sorry, Greg Biffle. I must sacrifice you. See you later. Oh wait, I just wrecked myself doing it. Oh, pain. <laughs> I was trying to stay in the top thirty by bring. Wait, it wrecked my car. Did you see that at the end? Oh no. No, it wrecked my car. No. <laughs> it was a tap on the wall. It tapped the wall at two miles per hour and it wrecked my car. I uh, just, I can't be asked, man. <laughs> the top three in points finish one, two, three. I can't be asked. What, what? Oh my God. This game, it just, it just like, oh, it just punches me in my balls every single second. My car. No, my sponsor prestige. No, damn it. Okay, my engine. No. Wait, what finished? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Something finished. Sponsor news. Yeah, ca carry on. What what happened in the garage, please? Garage news. Chassis number four repair. Engine number four repair. New engine. We have a new engine, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Where is it? Where is it? Inventory. Inventory. Engine number four. Five. Oh, mwah, 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 mwah. hello, darling. You are beautiful. Oh, God. 59, 56, 68. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Sell. We're going to sell number three because this is like our weakest one. And I don't need it. So, bye. And chassis. Oh, we, okay. We got it. Okay. We, we have a lot of stuff to do, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot of stuff. Okay. If I build another engine, 60, 56, 68. Not worth it at the moment. Uh, if I overhaul an engine, uh, what if I overhaul this one? No, not really. Well, if I repair it, what does that turn into? Repair, number one. Yeah, no, we'll repair. Okay, so repair for 80000 Put that in there. And then for the chassis, let's look at the inventory, what we got here. So, chassis, we're actually pretty good. All three of these, when, at, when fully, you know, conditioned, are, are decent. So we'll just repair for now. Uh, let me look there, build. Yep. Yeah, okay. So let's repair this one. We're gonna do that for six, seven thousand dollars. Boom, boom. And uh, that's all we're gonna do for now. We're not gonna build anything yet. Car. My car died, so we're going to a new car. Select engine. Uh, this is Watkins Glen, where we have well, we have two engines that are both the same. So we'll just put number five in there, and then chassis. We will put uh, number four in there. So this car should be our best car yet for a, uh, a road course race at least. And that's going to be nice. And then for everything. Wait, what? Mm, race car, change car, car two. Okay, there we go. And then for the R&D, we have $544,000 in the bank. I want to save that money for two more races so we could get the new R&D. Um, and then also the sponsorship in six race time. So let's just save the money for a little bit because once these spots sponsors end, then we got to redo the sponsors, see what the income's like there. And then, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that these guys might get fired, but one more mistake and you get, you might all get fired just to be honest. Uh, so we're going to wait and see, but Watkins Glen, I know this road course really well. I find it weird that they call it Thunder Road in 2002. I've, I've never heard of Watkins Glen being called Thunder Road. New York's Thunder Road. That's a... Uh, never heard of that before. That's cool. The Sirius Satellite Radio at the Glen. Uh, let's go check the standings real quick because the top three in points uh, finished. One, two, three. I think it was reversed though. Uh, Sterling Marlin won and then... Yep, okay. So that's a three-horse race at the moment. Uh, let's take the paint scheme, put it back to where it was. And now we head off to the beautiful Watkins Glen. I will run a few practice laps, but I do know how this track drives. Well, technically I don't know on this game how it drives, but uh, manual transmission, 
absolutely send it into the bus stop every single time and uh, hopefully we can get a good result. All right, let's take you for a lap around Watkins Glen. This is lap one of qualifying. We have grass all over the place, and I've completely messed up lap one already by getting into the grass, but it's fine. Through the S's, this is very important right here. Uh, nice and easy through here. Shift into fourth. Stay all the way to the right. Cut it down all the way to the left. Damn it, I messed up. I'm restarting. I'm using my mulligan. All right, leave me alone. I don't care what anyone says. All right, back through the S's. This is how you do it properly. Stay all the way to the right. Cut in. There we go. Perfect. Uh, come all the way through. Here we go on the right-hander. Nice and easy, then carry it to the left side of the fence. Look at your braking markers, 600, 500, break at 400, boom. And then boom, and then there's a fence right there, and then I almost hit it, but I'm just using up all the track. I messed that up, by the way, <laughs> because I locked up. We're fine. Now we head into the carousel. Uh, and down shift in a second, and then back in a third, and then nice and easy. As there is no runoff here, as you can see, we got grass all over the place because this is the year 2002. You just wanted to have grass everywhere to make it look pretty. Uh, down through the back chute here into turn 10, we break hard back into third gear, break the 300 marker. There we go, that's beautiful. Off the corner, stay in third gear here, and now I'm gonna shut up and focus on the second lap because this is the real lap, all right? I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, we qualified third! Oh, that's lap one! Oh, oh, Lord have mercy. Oh my God, I could get pole. I can get pole. All right, I gotta focus. I gotta focus. No, oh, I messed up turn one because I was, oh, I was too distracted. All right, no, I can still get pole. I can still get pole. Hold on. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Nice and easy. All right, there we go. And perfect. Okay, if I ace this bus stop, I can get pole. I know I can. I just have to absolutely obliterate it. Send it into another dimension. That's what I have to do. Break at 400. Here we go. Boom. And then boom. And then just, oh, yes, daddy. Just cut through everything. Oh, that's perfect. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Now we're going to go through here. Downshift in a second. And wait for it, wait for it. All right, pick it up. Let's go. That's nice. I think I gained so much time in the bus stop. It was perfectly legal, guys. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That was perfectly legal. So don't yell at me, you know, for cutting the track. I, I did not cut the track. It's just within the parameters of the track, okay? Uh, nice and easy through turn 10. That's beautiful. Stay in third gear. And through the final corner. That's beautiful. Oh, please be pole. Please be pole. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> One, ten, four. It's our first ever pole position. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's completely legal. No exceeding track limits, I promise. Track limits don't exist in NASCAR. Ah, it's fine. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series made a right turn today on its way to Watkins Glen International for today's race, the Sirius Satellite Radio at the Glen. The Glen is a road course that can be quite a challenge to these drivers. Isn't that right, Barney? This is an exciting race to watch each time we come here. The combination of long straights and quick corners make for some incredible racing. The Nikon car had a great run in qualifying this week. Well, the extra time that team spent on qualifying this week makes all the difference. I think they should spend extra time every week. Maybe it would help improve their average starting spot. I've been top qualifying nine, in the top 20. How do you criticize me when I'm on pole? You that still criticize me so when I'm on pole? Oh, really my God. I honestly cannot be asked with these two. Day. Maybe there is an agenda, 110% fraud, fraudulent. Yeah, he's definitely not used to having to pick through traffic so early in a race. This could make it an exciting race for him, or it could be disastrous. You just never know when you start in the back. Or the land of, of the free, free and the home of the brave. Oh, look at that Nikon car, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at it, it's in the pole position. Oh, our sponsors are gonna be so happy. Oh, beautiful scenes. Please, God, don't let me wreck this race car. Oh, oh, look at it. Oh, no, yeah, daddy. Oh, God, that makes me hard. Okay, here we go. Wait, why is, oh, I have to press it. Oh, here we are. Everyone ready, everyone ready? Everyone ready? Everyone, is everyone ready to go? All right, here we go. <laughs> Bamus! In the second gear. In the third gear. All right, we got nine laps to do this. All right, I just, if, if I don't make mistakes, I will be okay. I will be okay. Downshift into second gear. And get stay back here. I want the lead. Heading into the yeses. Robbie Gordon, road course ace right behind us. We're going to go nice and easy in here. And upshift. And I have to cut off Tony Stewart because he, he probably would have dive bombed me there. 
All right, we're good there. We're good. Everything's good. And out to the bus stop. And please don't run me over. Break at the 400 marker. Bump. Boop. Boop. Nice and neat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm sliding all over the place. All right, we're fine. We're fine. E okay, no, we're not fine. Robbie Gordon's going to take the lead. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Sterling Marlin might get around me. I don't really know how fast these guys are, so... Oh, my lord. Oh, God. No, let's, let's stay away from that wall, everyone. You stay back. Okay, so the race wins out of the question now. Okay, this is hard. All right, downshift. And... Okay, these guys are just storming around me. All right, this is... Yeah, this is a little bit... This is going to be difficult. I'm really worried about turn one. I, I feel like these guys are going to just dive bomb me every time. You... Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, you're just going to shove me right off the track, Elliot Sadler. I appreciate that. That's in the notebook. That's in the notebook, Elliot Sadler. I, I got you. Oh, you are you're getting turned head on into the wall one race. I promise you that. Rusty Wallace, do you ever learn? Like, seriously? Get out of the way. Oh, there's a caution! Oh, that's gonna be really interesting. Alright, let's just, uh... What are the AI doing? They are going all over... Why is Jeff Gordon running a Pepsi paint scheme at Watkins Glen? <laughs> you don't see anything uh, see like that see uh, those things every day uh let's just bring this home because this is uh well wait i have to think really hard about this if we restart on lap like five is there a chance we can just make it without pitting i mean this is going to be really weird i don't really know what's going to happen here um Okay, well, here we go. We're gonna cross our finish line. Lap three. When do they restart the race? It would be like lap six, right? I'm not entirely sure. What happened? Someone. Oh my god, there's a ton of chaos. I don't. Oh, oh right. Ricky Rudd blew an engine. Okay, so. Got blown end. Oh my lord. Jeff Green went upside down. That's uh, incredible scenes. Okay. Let's focus on our race here. I can't see what the AI are doing. I assume I can make it. I just want to see what they're doing. What are they doing? Are they pitting? I can't tell. No, everyone's staying out. I'm going to stay out too. Lap 5. T fuel's at 12. Ooh, can I make it? I don't know. I don't know. What if I... Maybe I should have pitted. Ah, I got no idea. Like, I genuinely have no clue what to do. I'm just going to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And carry. Okay, we're in a good running position. I just, I don't think we can make it on fuel, but I'm not entirely sure. Nice and easy through the S's. I don't really want to go side by side with anyone this race because it's just too dangerous with all the fences and everything around. Uh, hopefully there's another caution and it ends the race early. I mean, I'll gladly take a top 20. <laughs> like, please. Don't overrun me. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I, oh. I was not expecting Terry Labonte to break that early. I was worried about getting run over from behind. I apologize. Oh, my God. There's contact everywhere. There is contact everywhere. We got Jimmy Mack going after Bobby Labonte. We got me going after Case Kane. And I'm waiting for the damn car to turn. I cannot get this thing to turn. It's fine. <sighs> Three laps to go when we crossed our finish line. I can't catch my breath. All right. Don't overdrive one. Don't overdrive one. That was beautiful back on the throttle i might be able to get rusty oh my god i'm actually doing pretty well and boop into the yep that's beautiful shift into fourth all right i actually can't get rusty because i have to break to make the corner oh that was unfortunate all right time to look the envelope and send it into the bus stop casey kane is hitting the brakes hard i'm gonna take advantage of that see you later oh we might get a two for one deal get out of the way rusty you oh, got almost at the wall there we're fine Ooh, downshift in a second to block rusty there we go and third. Oh, what a beautiful move. Oh, I'm so good. I totally did not use Rusty Wallace as a wall. Oh, this is great. Oh, Rusty's not happy. Oh, God. A little bump and run. All right, Rusty. You, come, get out of here. You, you want to play rough, Rusty. Trust me. I already don't like you. But we're we're, we're going we're gonna to play rough. Trust me on that. Oh, here I come through the bus stop. I'm an absolute legend through here. Look at me go. Oh, hello, Michael. Oh, goodbye, Michael. It's another beautiful move. Completely clean. I don't know what anyone's talking about. It's it's clean. That's a clean move. Oh, we move again. Let's go. Nice through the carousel. Scott Wimmer. Oh, don't hit that wall. Dear God. Scott Wimmer, get your little cute ass back here. It's the white flag lap. We have enough fuel to make it. I just can't overdrive turn one. Be nice and easy. That's beautiful. The tires are definitely wearing, but I'm just kind of sliding all around. 
And uh, we can get a P12 finish if I can just get the good old Wimmer over here. I'm not, I'm not going to really push it too hard to get to him. I'm just going to run my own line. That's beautiful. All right, actually, I should easily actually be able to get him here in the bus stop. I'm, I'm able to drive it in five car lengths deep uh, compared to everyone else. And uh, this is going to be an easy pass. Hello. And uh, he's actually trying to compete with me. And goodbye. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Wait, don't spin it. Jesus Christ. I was just waiting for the car to kind of bite, but it, never, it was never biting. Oh, Dale and her Jr. is behind us. That's one fast car. Got to be careful with him. Uh, we, we are low on fuel, but we can make it, so that's fine. And uh, it looks like Jr. might get around us, which, to be honest, I, I don't care if he does. P12, P13. Doesn't matter. I'm going to take a defensive line here. Block Jr. That is beautiful. Got no idea who won the race. Hopefully it was Robbie Gordon. We didn't pit this race. No one did, which is kind of funny. Uh, there's debris on the track. Oh, the caution would have came out. The caution would have came out if that wasn't the final lap. There's debris on the track. Uh, and we are going to finish in P12. <laughs> we got a pole position and P12. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful scenes. Tony Stewart won the race. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so goddamn good. Let's go. The Pepsi 400 is the next race. Wait, Michigan is also called the Pepsi 400? The... I did not know that. Um, all right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Uh, we, we, we had a monumental episode today. First career pole position. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful scenes. Oh, so beautiful. All right. Uh, we'll check the team management uh, tomorrow and uh, check all that. Pro uh, primary response pre prestige went up. Driver response prestige went up. Uh, we have $776,000 in the bank. We will get the R&D uh, in the middle of the next part of this career because we have to do one more uh, race for that. Um, so not a good Brickyard 400. Beautiful at Watkins Glen. Dale Jarrett with a 63 point lead over Dale and Hart Jr. And uh, guys, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we will be back tomorrow for more NASCAR Thunder 2003. Uh, and hopefully, I think I think the tide's turning, lads. I, I know we didn't do well at for the Brickyard, but I'm feeling good. And the MRN's gonna, they're gonna screw themselves one day. Trust me, they're gonna eat their words. Uh, I'll get them. All right, take care of yourselves. Peace out.